Let's talk about sequential shifters and handbrakes. Roll the intro. Hello, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, consider subscribing as I try to post new racing content weekly. And while you're down there, if you get add a like, it just helps the algorithm and helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitch, there's a link down in the description. I usually stream on weekends and sometimes on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. In this video, I just wanted to do a quick overview of the new AI Logs projects, sequential shifter and handbrake that I just purchased. I want to let you guys know right off the bat, I paid full price for these. They were not sent to me for review. I found them from some YouTube videos and just wanted to make a quick video on my uh, personal opinion on them. And spoiler alert, I love them. So let's get into the video. Let's start with the sequential shifter. It's priced at 180 US dollars. It is compatible on PC, obviously, and then you can also use it on console with, so that's Xbox and also in the PS4 and PS5 with their new update. This shifter comes with a mounting plate, so if you don't have a full rig setup, you can put it on a desk. But I opted to obviously mount mine with the mounting plate to my rig, and it came out really nice. And it was so easy to install that it only took me about three minutes just to install everything. The shifter comes with an optional extended rod, which it has a max height of 80 millimeters. I would definitely recommend that if you're going to just have just a sequential shifter. But if you're going to go with a setup like mine, then I would just do the extended rod on the handbrake. The shifter is so smooth and so notchy that I can feel every movement and it feels so locked in. And it also makes this satisfying sound that's just so intoxicating that you, every shift you can just feel in here. So I will play a little sequential ASMR for you right here. All right, let's talk about the handbrake real quick. The handbrake is also 180 US dollars, which again is just a very good price and is around what all of the other big manufacturers are selling them for. This is PC compatible and it's also compatible for Xbox and PS4. Just like the sequential shifter, this comes with a tabletop clamp and also the mounting plate. Again, I opted to mount it to my rig with the mounting plate. And just like the sequential shifter, this one has a optional extended rod, which is only $10. And I would definitely recommend it if you're going with a two uh, setup with the sequential and with the handbrake, because being able to have them at different levels, like you're not going to get in the way of each other when you're trying to do your shifting. The handbrake all in all is very smooth and it gives you a good transition where if you need to go like 100% or 50% or whatever, it has a, a good feel to it and it doesn't make any sounds, it doesn't really click. So it's not like the sequential, but it's still like a satisfying feeling when you're pulling on the handbrake. That's all I have for this video. I hope you liked that quick overview of the sequential shifter and handbrake. I highly recommend them if you're looking for a sequential shifter and handbrake. These are relatively priced around what the big manufacturers are selling them for and they are honestly very high quality and I'm surprised that they're selling them at this price. I will be using them obviously for a lot of my rally cross and for my dirt road uh, racing. So look out for that and you'll see me probably boasting more about them in a future video. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.